What's up YouTube? It's your boy James back with another video. And guys, I caught a major restock on one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Now these just recently came out not that long ago, but I caught the L on them. I still did end up getting the sneaker from another avenue. So this is a double up for me, but I still can't believe they restocked and I can't believe I caught the dub on them. So I finally did get them in the mail and I'm going to unbox these sneakers for you today. Now, before we get into the unboxing, you guys know what I need you to do. I need you to hit that like button for your boy. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, puts my videos out in front of more people, and it helps my channel tremendously, and I thank you in advance. And if you're new here or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video on sneakers, gear, or sports-related items, and you don't miss anything. Now I know that I was super lucky to be able to catch this sneaker that I'm going to show you today on the restock because it restocked on the Nike sneakers app of all places. And at the time of this restock, they were actually doing the exclusive access for the Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. And that's sort of like where everybody's head was at, but I got to give a special shout out to the J23 app. Best $3 I ever spent, hands down. And guys, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. Like I have zero sponsorships. Everything that I show you or I give you my opinions on, I actually spend my own money on. At this current time, I have no sponsors. You know, if there's a brand out there and you want to work with your boy, hit me in my DMs on Instagram. But guys, the J23 app, man, like I can't really stress that enough. I mean, it's only three bucks and, you know, they let you know about restocks and information and stuff like that. So, you know, nobody was expecting this sneaker to restock. So to be able to, you know, catch this, you know, on the restock and pay retail for this sneaker, one of my favorite sneakers of all time, man, shout out to the J23 app for letting your boy know because nobody, and I mean, nobody was expecting that. But I do have the sneaker in hand and guys, here it is straight from Nike. Got the just do it tape on there or just steal it tape. And I'm gonna unbox this for you today. Now, this is one of my most favorite sneakers of all time. Ever since I was a little kid, I've loved this sneaker. And I'm glad to be able to double up on this. And here you go with the box. Bam, bam, bam. All right, now the official size tag reads Air Jordan 6 Retro, white, carmine black, and this is a personal pair, size eight. Inside the box, you got your cement paper speckle all over it. And let's take a look at the sneaker. And right here, we got a double up on the Jordan 6 Carmine. Now, as most of you know, when this sneaker retroed and released a couple of months back, this was actually sort of hard to get. It ended up being limited. Now, this was supposed to be a GR, but Nike and Jordan brand were having quality control issues with the paint that was used on the back heel and the midsole. So a lot of the stock that was sent to Foot Locker and Champs and retailers like that had to either be sent back to Nike or destroyed or ended up in a Nike outlet or something like that. So I'm not really sure what happened to all the pairs. We have seen some restocks here or there and now on the Nike sneakers app. Um, long term, you know, I think this is a very, very good hold. I mean, it took them 30 years to make this car mine with the Nike Air on the back the way that the original was, the one that we all love. And who knows if they'll ever do that again. So, I mean, to get this sneaker again, to double up on this, very important to me, and I'm happy that I got it. And now I'm just looking at the sneaker to see if it uh, has any pink in the midsole or the back or anything like that. It appears to be perfectly white to me. I don't see any issues. So this is probably a very good pair. Let me know if you guys see pink. I don't. Looks perfect to me. And the same thing here with the right sneaker. Looks perfectly fine no issues now for a while there after the card mine was released everybody's pair looked pink to me including my own that i got but you know long term i'm interested to see if they turn pink or not you know especially because they had the qc issues especially with the earlier pairs that were released but you know i'm just happy to have them in my collection but guys, hit that comment section for me. Let me know if you caught the dub or the L when they were, you know, originally released. Are these double up worthy? Or is this a pass for you because of the quality control issues? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you all for rocking out with me and watching this video before you guys bounce out. If you haven't already done so, hit that like button for your boy. And if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any content on sneakers gear, or sports-related items. And until next video, peace.